Hello, good people. Welcome back to the Cub Games YouTube channel. Everything in this video is from a past live stream. If you'd like to come hang out and catch this live, go follow or subscribe on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Cub Games. Let's get to the video. Um, so the video is actually going to start here because <laughs> uh, the game actually ended up crashing. Great, you know, so genius, but my game crashed. Um, so we've got to figure out this dark hole thing again. Uh, which we didn't cut monster egg, we cut... We ended up cutting this. And... I don't remember what else we cut, really. Oh, we cut monster eye. And something else, right? Muka Muka, I think it was. Yeah, 1577, that's good enough. So a dark hole and two fake traps here. I don't know why I'm... There we go. Okay. So, <laughs> to the pier we go. Because I don't want to... I don't want to spend, like, eight years grinding, though. If a lot of people are going to be here watching, and this is much more than uh, we're here last time for Rashef, I don't mind it too much. Also gonna try to make sure I actually remember to drink my water this time. I was uh, <laughs> putting up the Rishef video that went on the YouTube today, um, and noticed that my voice actually, like, there was a noticeable difference after a couple of hours. We landed on Jinzo number seven as the ante. There we go. All right, we're back. Oh, and we drew our dark hole. Happy day. Let's go. <laughs> you get those easy kills out of the way. Oh, Pot of Greed? Why can't I have a pot of greed? Hold up. It's kind of weird. I, I feel like cards like Dark Hole are actually probably... Like, Pot of Greed obviously is very good. Um, I don't know. Early game, I feel like cards like Dark Hole are going to be better than Pot of Greed. I, I might be wrong. But, you know, clearly if I had a Pot of Greed, I would find a way to get it in my deck. Oh! <laughs> I forgot to heal up again. <laughs> so for the people who aren't going to see um, the very first bit of this on the YouTube, um, we had some uh, issues with the sound. The game volume wasn't coming through, so I had to restart uh, everything and forgot that I was at 50 life points. So... That's that's me losing a duel with uh, one attack. All right, but now we should be at eight thousand, and we are good to go. So let's uh, let's throw another Jinzo number seven into the incinerator here. All right. All right, we're gonna set this fake trap that does literal nothing. I wish it at least like had the effect um, that it does in Forbidden Memories, but it does not. Oh, I need my little cheat sheet here too, don't I? Yoink, that's not it. There it is. Okay. Pull you over here. Okay, so... What beats Dream again? Fiend beats Dream. Okay, well, we do have a Fiend, and it is our favorite Fiend. Flat Top Cyclops. Okay. 
One day I'll have this memorized, but until then... Good old final destiny. What is that? Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, hold on. I was thinking this guy's 750. That's uh, Cyber Commander's 750. Yeah, removal seems to be broken. Um, torrential tribute, especially. Good lord. Oh, Battle Warrior, you say? I'm just gonna be safe and attack with a Morphing Jar. Okay. Jar cannibalism here. Summon the Turtle Raccoon. Is it turtle raccoon or raccoon turtle? I think it's turtle raccoon, right? Yeah. Playing the tribute trick? What is that? Eekaboon? Oh, yeah, I guess I could have played around Eekaboon, right? Attacked with a smaller one first. I need to keep that in mind. Opponent's life at 1650. Well, if I want to kill this turn, tribute monster, attack, dark hole, storm, then summon. Oh, that's that's dumb. <laughs> Why is that a thing? That's kind of crazy. I like it. Oh no! At least Beastel War can attack over it. We good. We got this. We got an eat Gaboon. Dark hole. Oh man, <laughs> I should have just waited a bit. Just needed a way to turn, and we could have done that. Okay. No attack? Does, yeah, light beats... Oh, right, right, right. They activated the effect so they can't attack with it. Um, They're below... Yeah, they're at 650. Okay, whatever. Good old minus two dark hole. You love to see it. 148 domino? That's some real money. Ooh, main eater bug. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Cool. Yeah, get out of here. Do you want to duel now? No? You still don't want to duel? That's kind of rude. Isn't that like what our entire existence is about? Is dueling? Okay. Does that guy just not look like he could be Mai's brother? It's kind of weird. Dude got hit by the Kamehameha wave. <laughs> oh, that was kind of wild. Can I go? Oh, I can go this way.
What do you mean there's no money involved? We, we literally play for Ante in this game. <sighs> really? Maya's like the only one I can fight here? What about old dude? Can I fight him? Or is he just kind of... Yeah, okay. And the lady, this one? Okay. Old man has the, the funny line? Okay. I'll have to, I'll have to check that out. Let's see what old dude's got for us. It's a 750? It is a light, though. Or, I'm sorry, it, it's a fiend. This is a light. Buku beats. Love to see it. Wicked mirror getting in there. You don't love to see it. Um, I don't have anything that beats dream. I do. Fiend beats dream? Okay, I've got... All kinds of shit. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking it was uh, it's a shadow that beats a dream, but shadow beats light, right? Yeah. Ooh, a bear trap. Bear trap's nice. Right, take out the finger candle. Cool. All right. I'd imagine we want to get more um, thunders in the deck for my. So may take a look at that. who controls the dark. Interesting. Ah, good old flat top Cyclops coming through. Hold on. I thought, oh, Fiend beats Dream. Okay. What the hell beats dark? Hold on, I don't have that on here. Is it Dream? It's Dream that beats Dark. Okay. Well, kind of wasted that turn, didn't I? It's all right. We've got a, a beck into darkness if we so feel the need to use it. I could just summon Saber Slasher. That's probably what I'm going to do. get that weather control out of here so we don't get weather report OTK'd. Winged Trumpeter. Okay. Well, Satsu can beat that. One of the life ones, 46. Sure. over here a little bit so my arm can actually sit on the the chair armrest. So we're at 24. Okay, yeah. Alright, back into darkness. Just get this over with. Get 
Can we give Cyberstein its actual, like, TCG effect? Hero Shadow Scout. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's... Let's see what all we've got Thunder-wise to add into the deck anyway. We've got La La Leon, which I guess I could take out this for. Um, I've already got that in the deck. Oh, wait, I should take out some Earths, I guess, rather than... So we drop the monster egg. And we'll add. Um, where is it? There it is. I feel like we've got some others. I know we've got like lightning conjure or whatever. That might be it though, really. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm adding... <laughs> I'm adding in these thunders, and that's not even what beats wind. <laughs> Lord, forest beats wind. Okay. Okay, so let's go back up here and get this Lala Leon out of here. And, uh... uh... One day I'll figure out how to play this game. Okay. So, we've got... Dark Plant, which is probably just not strong enough. I want something that's actually, like, relatively okay. Uh, we can put in the three Koragashis. That's pretty easy. Let me find some, uh... Find some Earths to get out of here. Could just drop Beast of Talwar. Nah, whatever. We're gonna, we're gonna keep playing the Beast of Talwar. It's just cool. So, Earth, 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 Earth. Need to drop three? Uh, yeah, Leogun can go for now. Morphing Jar. Those can't. Are those the only Earths I have? So we already cut the monster egg. Oh, I'm already down three? Okay. Cool. Have anything else that I really want to bring in? Uh, Rainbow Flower is kind of... Not great. Griggle sucks. That's it. Okay. We good. Alright, my... Man, I have to... Mm, I have to duel old dude first? Jean-Claude Magnum. What a name. <laughs> Good God. I'm not gonna lose, chill. I'm probably gonna lose. Oh, no. Definitely want to ante here. Get on down to Jinzo number seven. I passed it. I definitely passed it. Where is it? Could just do this rainbow flower. Let's just do the rainbow flower while we're down here. Sure. Lucky Trinket. Okay. Can at least run over that thing when it's an attack. Get in there with Drawbird. And we'll once again make the joke that there is no Lockbird. Uh, 
when Dream beats Dark. Okay. Ah, unfortunate. But that's kind of the risk that you take. Oh, and it's a 700 too? Hmm. I guess we just crash. No, no, Fiend beats, right, Fiend beats Dream. What am I doing? All right, I gotta play this more than once a week so I can actually keep up with this shit. All right. Hikaboon's fine. This is the problem with having fake trap in the deck. <laughs> Alright, at least we... We dropped a better monster than the Buku. Unfortunately, though... They've got two left in hand. Alright, um... I'm just gonna go ahead and reset everything. crash. Yeah. For a second there, I thought um, my guy was going to live. I was kind of confused as to how that was going to happen. Okay, well, Buku is much better than a Queen's Double. So we take those. Not better than that. Okay. Okay, should have attacked with the pettit. Obviously. I was hoping to draw that into attack. It's a 600, right? Yeah, okay. Looks like I've got people on board um, to start cubing online. This is going to be so fun. I cannot wait to do some... Cannot wait to do some goat cubes. Sure. Don't care about that. Is that the oh, another Buku? Sure. Almost lethal. That's probably the thing that I've disliked about the games um, the most so far. Is like you get yourself into a position like this where it's like you're gonna win, um, but the monsters are just so weak that it just takes forever. Which is you know whatever. Dark beats light, dream beats dark. Yes. Or does dream beat fiend? It doesn't matter, I've got this thing, whatever. Light beats fiend, so dream beats dark. Got it. I know I've already seen that happen, like, a bunch of times. Mystic Lamp, okay, well... Not a big fan of that, but... I am a big fan of making this dude cry. That sounds pretty nice. 
I am searching for a Millennium item. Thank you, Mai. I didn't really save you. Dude's literally still right here, though now he's upset, so... He may, uh, may come at you with some Roid Rage. This duel or my Mai's duel triggers a side quest? I don't remember the side quest at all. <laughs> so... Alright, let's get these Koragashis back out of the deck for some good cards. Or I guess, uh, better cards. Koragashi's not really that bad. Uh, let's see. We took out Leo Gun. Which I think is still worth a slot. We definitely took out Morphing Jar. And what else did we take out? Monster Egg. Leo Gun is up. No, it's down. Wherefore art thou, Leo Gun? There we go. Sup, dude? I guess we can, like, anti the Koragashis. I don't know if that's actually any better because it has a slightly higher attack. But here we are. Unfortunate. Um, yeah. Are we turn two final destiny gamers here? I don't think so, right? Claw Reacher? Oof, I think I've only got one dream in my deck. Maybe, yeah. Let's just drop Final Destiny. Reset. Hopefully the cards that I draw are better than the cards my opponent draws. Alright, well this can wall Buku at least. Cool. Can wall that as well. Very nice. This kills Buku and then dies to the gen. Okay, well. You do what you gotta do. And yeah, unfortunately, Petit Dragon can't crash with the gen. Crash, that's totally fine with me. Sick. It's a dark hole? Okay. Yeah, unfortunate. I think Beast of Talwar is already gone, right? We had that in our opener. Oh, they are gonna crash now. Okay. So we. No, we didn't find an answer to Petta Dragon. I do not, um, ooh. All right, it might be dark hole time soon. Like, now. I'd feel better about this position if the opponent has had taken more damage, but like, 600 is something we can get over. Not with a dark. <laughs> okay. No reason to throw that out just to let it die here, I guess. Take out Buku with it. We are low on the life points, though. Okay. This takes care of both. Unfortunate that that's a dream. 
Oh boy. Okay. Opponents are definitely getting getting a little better here. No summon there is good for me though. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's very bad. Okay. We need something good here. That's not gonna do it. Oh? Yes! Oh, <laughs> uh, what an idiot opponent. Why would you ever do that? Good job on the one I chose to set, rather than the Phantom. Okay, this kills Needle Ball too. Oh, we got an Ikaboon, very nice. Life points that, and I'm at 200? Oh my god. All right, we got this. What's that? Oh, bear trap. Nice. All right, yeah, I think we definitely have this game now. All came down to our opponent just like... Deciding... Ooh, giant germ. Um, opponent deciding that... Uh, the correct play was to drop a two tribute monster. Best AI. Bear trap. Uh, does it for 1500 or less? Okay. So it should kill anything that they put out here. If they attack with anything, yeah. Get that claw reacher out of here. Ooh, a needle ball. Okay. That's worth putting in the deck. 750. Yeah, give me that. Give one to me. Bye, shoddy. should go see Ishizu, but first we're gonna get that um, needle ball. There we go, needle ball. That's the <laughs> that's the word. Let's get rid of weather control and go find this needle ball. Yep, got just enough. Just enough to get it in there. So can I actually battle mine now? Or duel? Okay, cool. Well, I wish I had put the Koragashi back in the deck, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, mountain. Interesting. How does Mountain Warrior not get powered up by Mountain? I understand it's a warrior, but holy shit. Is that 1300? Um. <laughs> we might, uh. We might be big screwed here. Oh, just dead. Okay, got it. <laughs> I forgot that the life points were so low because they don't reset. Okay. Let's... 
Let's get these Koragashis in the deck again, and we're, we're gonna give Mai one more shot, though that seemed, like, absolutely miserable. But I don't know if... If that's just, like, the best normal summon that she can do, or something. I guess I only have two Koragashis now, don't I? Ooh, throw a rainbow flower in there. That's gotta be a forest, right? Yeah. I guess, what, Peacock gets powered up here? Do I want Griggle? Like, Griggle's kind of just weak, but... I can probably fit it in over two fake traps, right? Just for some... It's essentially a removal spell. That can attack. Oh, that makes sense to me. Okay. Maybe I should add in more for us. Hold on, let's just... Yeah, like Dark Plant is not a forest, it's a fiend, okay. Noted. Do I have any more at all? It would appear not. We have all of the forests that I own in the deck. All right, let's see if we can... Let's see if we can get this against my. I guess we'll do Jinzo number seven this time. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. None of the forests. Is Dancing Elf a forest? Can you stop leading on Lizark, please? I guess some of these things are probably going to be like weird typing, so I guess I could have checked that out. Niwatori. Okay. Well, that's a forest, unfortunately. Eve. Um... All right, well, let's just press the reset button. Maybe we're not ready to beat Mai yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bear trap. That's pretty nice. No summon, unfortunate. Oh God, it's bigger than my bear trap? I've got like one water in this deck, come on. <laughs> and I was... Okay, um, we're just not ready to beat Mai, I suppose. That's that's totally fine. <laughs> I guess I could go buy some forest from the from the shop, right? Good lord. Okay, well, I mean, one forest beats this whole board, so. Get lucky off the top? No. Absolutely not. Okay. Cool. Alright, so let's, um... Let's come back to my later. Let's just talk to Ishizu now. I have obtained the Millennium Key. And I do have the power of two Millennium Items. Hi, Slifer. How you doing? No, don't give Yugi the Slifer. Give it to me. What has Yugi ever done? Psychological torture dragon. <laughs>
Yeah, that's right. Give it to me. Yes, yes, a piece of cardboard proves that the power of our friendship can defeat anything. Zero deck cost? Ooh. Okay. I just assumed, like, with this game, um, that they were going to give me a card, and I just wasn't going to be able to play it. in Italy. <laughs> okay. Well, fun fact, if there's uh, one European country that I would like to travel to, it's it's actually Italy. So that's pretty cool. Where's, uh, where's Slifer? I assume all the way down here at the bottom. Nope. All right. It's a 4K, 4K. A dragon that can power up based on the cards in hand. For every card in the player's hand, power is up to three levels? Holy shit. Do I have to tribute three for it? Or is it just two? Because I'm going to play that. Get rid of this uh, saber slasher. All right, let's go see what uh, see what Gramps got for us. Three tributes, okay. Cool. I really want this X head cannon. I like that card a lot. Hmm, Violet Crystal. What do you do? Power up a zombie. Yep, that's exactly what that card does. Oh, prepare for the constant reminder. You got it. I would imagine the duel's not going to last very long after I bring it out, but, you know, we'll see. We have Null. We're just missing Fina. Ooh, Monster Reborn. I'm back up to a thousand domino? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Invisible wire? Two thousand or less? Okay. Invisible wire seems good. Um, we can't afford it. What's the Berserk Dragon do? Can attack all enemy monsters. Powers down at the start of the foe's turn. Okay, so it's just like um, the actual card. Got it. Anti-Rai Geki is kind of meh. D-Spell? Sells for 80 Domino? Negates any level-reducing spell used by the player's monsters. That doesn't seem amazing. From the opponent's graveyard only. Okay, well... I can't, uh... Can't afford any of those cards, unfortunately, but, you know, we can, we can go do some more stuff. Maybe, yeah, let's, um, let's take these Griggles out of here and the Koragashis. Add back in four cards. I've got some space. How do I have this much space now? Huh. I guess it's because I am down four cards in the deck. So, Leo Gun. Sure. Three more. I was at the Morphing Jar. Um. Monster. Oh. Shh. Um, okay. 
So I want Monster Egg, I think. So let's actually take out the... Well, not maybe not Leo Gun. We'll take out... Peacock. So there's, there's Peacock on Satsu. I think I already took out the Saber Slasher, right? Maybe it's time. Oh, dropping Beast of Talwar is not even enough. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Uh, don't want to drop Turtle Raccoon. Maybe I'm dropping Peacock. No, Doma. Doma's worse than Peacock. I feel like I already passed it. I probably did. Nope, oh, there's Doma. Okay. That's not enough. Man, I want Insatsu just because it's kind of cool, but I guess Peacock's better. Okay. We'll drop Insatsu. It's fine. Put the fake trap back in the deck. Okie doke. Just travel all the way over here to Italy, I guess. Yes, I would love to perform a duo and sing with you, actually. That looks like a face. I should be able to duel that hole in the wall there. This looks scary. Yup. Sup, dude? Yeah, sure. Yes, we have to sightsee. All right, then fight me. Duel against my ghouls. <laughs> What beats dark again? Dream? You're right. I won't stand a ghost of a chance in a duel against him. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh. Well, if they're actually darks, um, leading on Ginnon actually seems pretty good. Sparks, you got it. I'll take a whole 50. No big deal. Wood remains is a forest. I don't have a lot of fires in this deck, and we might just be dead. And that's not, you know, ideal. So we can draw some sort of trap here. That'd be that'd be great. Um, we at least have a Buku that can attack over that. So we'll do this whole whole little trading thing where we're gonna trade for one monster, but our monster is immediately gonna eat shit. Oh, double wood remains. Okay. Uh, I may not actually have a single fire in the deck now. And see, that's unfortunate. I drew my other dream. So I was hoping for dark monsters, but... 
I guess they're just going to be zombies of different attributes. Yeah, these are kind of all over the place. Okay. I can't even crash with a needle ball, man. Fiend beats dream. Yeah, okay. drew a light. <laughs> we may be, uh... We may be at the end of our potential to continue without grinding. We'll see. Crawling dragon? God. Oh, it's a tribute, right? right. Alright, we'll give it one more shot. If we can't... If we can't beat Bones here, then... It'll be grind time. I am searching for Millennium items. I have the heart of the duel of a duelist, but I don't have the brain to grind before doing this, so. Okay, see now this is a hand we can win with. <laughs> I just need some more removal in the stack, it's just so expensive. But I guess if I uh if I grind a little bit more against uh Joey and Yugi. That'll help a lot. I'm just gonna actually not attack with the Mountain Warrior. This seems like everything that uh, he's got is gonna be able to take that out. Just kind of play some defense for a little bit. Assume the control roll. Well, I can get eaten by it back into darkness, I suppose. All right, this one's going much better so far, but, you know, I've already used quite a bit of the removal in the deck. I haven't seen this card in a long time. Phantom Ghost. Pretty sure that card's not in the TCG, right? It's an OCG card. Or it was back in the day, maybe. I don't know. Uh, at least we can kill that clown zombie. That's... That's big game. Okay, my deck is very, very, very underpowered at this point. I think that's very clear. So, Sparks, you got it. Good mirror, okay. Well, Muse A can attack over that, so that's pretty good. Uh, what's not good is Fake Trap. How many cards we got left over there, too? Going to three. I've got two essentially useless cards here. Okay. At least I've got Dark Hole, I guess. Don't want to just Dark Hole one monster. I'm at 7650. I could just end. It's 51. Yeah, let's just end. We'll get a second monster out of the deal here. Fire Reaper. 
Oh, and an Ikaboon? That's pretty nice. I was talking in the Modified Goat channel in the Goat Discord server um, about how we should... Uh... Oh, I didn't set the Ikaboon. <laughs> Damn it. That was a that was a very big mistake there. Obviously, um, I was talking about how we should uh, unban Dark Hole in Modified Goat and see how that goes. And it just kind of uh, reaffirmed the position that T set pass would be the way to go <laughs> from there. So I don't want to. I don't want to do any of that. Ooh, a pass with nothing to do? Alright. Maybe we can... Nope, never mind. So maybe we can recover from our mistake, but I guess not. Yeah, that just gets run over too, doesn't it? Is this a 750? No, it's a 700. Okay. That was a 750. Um, probably have a tribute monster in hand, though. Another crawling dragon or something? Pumpkin? Okay. What is Pumpkin's effect? Oh, okay. Well, again, maybe I need to put some fires in the deck. Because we're seeing Pump King, Wood Remains. I don't know, those are kind of the only ones, right? I guess setting that Ikaboon wasn't enough, really, to... That mistake didn't just lose me the game. Still a mistake, but... Oh, God. Armored Zombie? Okay. Yeah, no, these uh, these permanent effects are going to get old really fast. Cool. All right, so yeah, we the deck is way too underpowered in its current form. So grinding is what we're going to have to do, unfortunately. How does that get past playtesting? Who knows? <laughs> who who knows? Um, they were they were probably on something when they made this game. All right, let's um, let's do a little bit of grinding to finish out the video or the the streams. Unfortunately. I have to open on Wednesdays at work, so I was a little, um, a little ambitious to do this in the first place, but it's fine. Oh, I left my rainbow flowers and stuff in the deck. Whatever. Sick. Rainbow flower coming in clutch. What good is fake trap? It's not. Um, <laughs> uh, the reason that it's in the deck is uh, because it has a zero uh, deck cost. So it allowed me to fit in um, dark hole. That was probably the worst monster reborn I've ever seen in my life.
Peacock. Okay, I really don't want to throw that out until... Until I have some protection. So I'm not just losing a monster for no reason. Losing two monsters for no reason. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think you're right about that. No, no, no. Let's not attack with that one. Um, I've got some fire monsters, but I guess just like holding them in hand until I see a wood remains or a pumpkin or something is the way to go. But I think just overall the deck is probably a little too underpowered. So that's that's all right. We'll we'll do some grinding. We'll get some more removal for sure. Can't certainly can't go this whole game without grinding. I just heard Yugi say my turn. What? It's kind of weird. Exodia. All right, we're doing some obliterating over there. Uh, Dream beats dark, right? Yeah. Okay, so we don't even have to use this back into darkness. Sick. Ah, Ikaboo. Never mind. Look at that. Activating normal spells in the middle of the battle phase. Increase by one. Let's go. Left leg of the forbidden one. Okay. Give Joey another duel. Someone commented something on a recent video about how I need to duel like Yuki specifically, but. Oh, there's our Slifer. And a whole bunch of removal. Okay. Oh, Joey talks too. All right, neat. I didn't notice that. Um, oh, so I need to set the Ikaboon first so that it'll get triggered first. So I guess it is a left to right thing. Noted. They both have good cards. Okay. Someone someone pointed out like specifically Yugi. I can't remember what the the reasoning was. So. It's my turn. Does he say it's my turn every time? I didn't have my. Uh... All right, you know, when you get the chance. To do it, you do it. Oh, it is. Oh my god, it happens every time I do something. Oh no. Oh, it's not even as the turn passes. Uh. I mean, you win the duel when you summon it, so like, oh boy, I love that it powers up by 1500 per card. What are they at? 300? Okay, we can just attack with Slifer. You're right, it is psychological torture dragon. Because, like, 
It's good. You put it on the field, you win, I imagine. I guess it gets destroyed by, like, Torrential Trivia, right? Oh, I've got two Time Wizards now. Uh, it's the ability to transform Baby Dragons and Dark Magicians. Okay, well, I, I have Baby Dragon. Just don't have it in the deck yet. Yeah, at least you went fast. That is very true. Okay. I'm excited to see the other god cards. Because I don't remember what they do. Needleball. I like that Slifer's deck building cost is zero as well, so it's just like kind of worth including in your deck. Powerful card that lets you add more other powerful cards. Life points 45. Reborn, okay. Have a muse, that's fine. Life points 22. Good old fake trap. Alright, no eat kaboon. Cool. Get out of here, Yugi. Left leg? Isn't that... Or did we have right leg last time? No, I just have two left legs. Come on now, Yugi. Don't do me like this. I think he does say it's my turn every time. Uh oh. Is that a giant soldier of stone? Spoopy. Okay. Oh, well, let's not set this one. Let's just set. I've got so many fiends. Alright, we'll sacrifice the flat top cyclops. Oops. The unicorn. Okay, that's a big whatever it is. Summon skull. Noted. Who? All right, I'll sacrifice Tristan next. All right. Well, we're about to get owned by Yugi. That's that's fun. Man eater bug. Okay. I need a light, please. a huge chunk of damage from this, but I'm at 63. I'll be alright for a little bit. Spellbinding Circle, sure. That was a waste. Oh yeah, Tristan is Cyber Commander. You're right. You're right. You're right. What did I call? 
What did I set that I said was Tristan? Oh, Cyber Stein. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got confused for some reason. Yeah, he's he's definitely a Cyber Commander. All right, we're dead. Cool. Thanks, Summon Skull. <laughs> Good old 3,000 attacker. Ouch. All right, back to the card shop we go. Let's fight Joey some more. I think it's funny that I said that was Tristan, and then I drew the Cyber Commander on the next turn. His draw bird does kill a lot of his monsters, right? May as well lead on that in case it's a Battle Warrior or a Mountain Warrior, something like that. See you, Time Wizard. I guess Fake Trap, like, whenever we get to that point in the game, can bait out, like, Harpy's Feather Duster or something. Hmm. Well, I currently don't have an answer to that thing. And I don't have a whole lot of wa waters in the deck anymore. This looks like a job for Dark Hole, but we'll let Joey do his thing and we'll Dark Hole more than one monster, I suppose. Four cards in hand over there? Okay. Am I good enough to beat the Cannon Soldier Girl yet? Probably not. Oof, that's unfortunate. by Summon Skull, and now we're getting beat by Red Eyes? I honestly can't even understand what he's saying whenever he says the Red Eyes Black Dragon thing. <laughs> I think it's pretty awesome that he says it every time it attacks. No, I have no clue what he's saying there. All right, cool. Back to the card shop. We'll do a little bit more of this. And then I think we'll be done. There's only... Only so much grinding you can do in a day.
See ya, Mushroom Man. Guess I've got two dreams, so I may as well... Sure. You had, like, three hours of grinding today? Well... I'm sure there will be days where I'll do that amount of grinding. Um, that time is just not today. <laughs> the first stream for the game was like four hours, so. having fun with the game, so. Okay. Yep. That certainly takes that out. Nope. We're doing it all on stream. Them's the rules. I don't make the rules. But I also make the rules, so. Because I, um, what I wanted to do with the game for YouTube is, um, I want to upload every single bit of the gameplay. Um, now, these videos are getting, like, far fewer views than my other videos, which is totally fine. Um, I'm going to upload what I'm having fun uploading. Um, and that's just kind of how that is. Um, but the cool thing is, uh, they, like, on average, their watch time is higher. So that means the people that are into it are watching it, like, a lot, at least lengthwise, so that, that's cool. And I'm only going to do them, like, a couple of days a week. So eventually the stream, like, that you all get to see is going to be way ahead of what's on YouTube. Alright, we got a second Exodia piece. There we go. We're going to get Exodia in this deck. I am ready. Oh, there's Slifer. Here we go. We're in for a long time, not a good time. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that thing getting taken out by Nikaboon. Sick. <laughs> what a turn. One for one with the trap and then just take out the attacker. All right. Yeah, all right. Mine, mine gets taken out too. Do we have another Ikeboon? No. Monster Reborn. Yep, yeah, sure. All right, the other monster's not big enough to take this out. Awesome. Uh, yeah, some Adoma. All right, not punished. You'd love to see it. Looks like we may be waiting on that Slifer for a little bit, though. I can get one more monster on the board. I'm summoning it out. There we go.
That's a that's a big boy. <clears throat> Gotta hit the space bar a lot, no big deal. Oh no, not spellbinding circle on my giant monster. Whatever will I do? Besides steel attack for 8,000. <laughs> Ooh, Spellbinding Circle, okay, okay. Oh, it's 180? Ugh. I mean, it's definitely worth playing. Card seems powerful. Um, how much room do we have? 13, so I would have to take out quite a bit to make that happen. Uh, that might not be worth it just yet. Probably just gonna have to grind some more. All right, sure. Unfortunately, my deck capacity only goes up by one from these, but it's fine. Uh, forest beats wind. Uh, we'll leave this thing in attack, I think. Alright, well, I left all of my forest stuff in the deck. It'd be... It'd be pretty cool if I could draw some of it. Just take out this Curse of Dragon. It has an effect. Read that here in a second. Alright, at least we got rid of the Mushroom Man. Oops. Details. Yellow Dragon that breathes the very flames of hell. <laughs> So much for children's card game. Uh, its fiery breath can turn the field into wasteland. Oh, neat. We sure are dying to tribute monsters a lot. All right, well, an earth is not really what I was hoping for here. I guess I, yeah, I should have attacked over the man eater bug. Whatever. I don't think I'm winning this game. Oh, is that a wind? Okay. All right. Forest. 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 Ah, that'll work. I'm not gonna attack into an Igaboon. There we go. Get out of here. <laughs> Guy of the shit champion. Spellbinding Circle seems very powerful. At least at this level of the game. I'm gonna die to a left leg. Come on. Okay, Dream Beats Dark. Cool. Oh, I guess I should have attacked with Ganagumo first. Yeah. I guess with this only being a hundred, it was actually also correct to attack with it. Okay. It's fine. Whatever. Let's get flat top Cyclops out there. I definitely should have attacked with Ganagumo first as well again. Just kind of clicking to get the duel over at this point. I 
feel like the Exodia pieces just like aren't even good enough to play. I might be wrong about that. Very unlikely that you win by Exodia, but I guess it is doable. Alright, now we attack correctly. That no, doesn't matter. Because Yugi's just dead here. Right arm, okay. Left arm's what we got last time, right? So we should have three pieces. Yeah, we got three. Very nice. Oh, get to go first? How generous. Oh, the pigs are running out of hay over there. Have to get them some more here in a little bit. It's an 800. All right, I'll just set the boy and pass the turn. Hopefully we don't get hit up by a summon skull here. It's not bad. Guy of the Fierce Knight. Okay, it's a dark. Alright. Uh, I do have a dream on the field. This is also a dream. Deal. I get to keep my Yuki Boon. Alright. of the unicorn. Well, oh, it's still gonna get rid of it. It's a main eater bug. Awesome. drop uh, the head as well, or is it just the the arms and legs? I'd imagine, I imagine if Joey can drop it's kind of rare. Okay. Haven't activated Dark Piercing Light in a little bit. Get another rainbow plant, may as well. Right leg, we definitely already had that one. Right. No, we've got four pieces now. We just need the head. Awesome. <laughs> need to get a bunch of traps and we can play a stall deck with Exodia. All right, flat top Cyclops get in there. All right, man eater bug gets flipped with no effect because this is actually a royal command on the board.
god. Yeah. I got a bunch of useless monsters, but I'm pretty sure the life points are low enough that it doesn't really matter, right? Well, I also just had this peacock. Kaka. Head's kind of rare, huh? <laughs> Awesome. Costs 137. I mean, it's it's fine to just have, right? I mean, I've got to put Exodia in the deck, right? That's just that's just a thing I have to do. Because like these, I guess these actually do cost more than. random things, right? Because how much does this guy cost? 87? Yeah, so I would actually have to get rid of some good stuff probably to make it happen. Doma costs a whole 14. God. The tribute monsters are so bad. Can I put this back in? Yeah, at least I can do that. Okay, well, probably gonna have to wait on Exodia, but you know. All right, this is probably going to be the last one. Got 20 out of like 200 duels. That's not bad. Uh-oh. Turn one, kunai with chain. Oh yeah, I guess I could just put the Exodia in my deck. Just the, the head. No, that gets rid of my Sliver? I mean, my hand is awful, right? Well, hold on, draw a bird. Yeah, there we go. All right, just gotta remember who I'm playing against. This hand can beat a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. Oh, it doesn't? Okay. Nice. So that actually leaves the Slifer in hand? That's hilarious. So I could, like, tribute, 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 final destiny, summon Slifer? Hell yeah. That's awesome. I really want to do that this game. In fact, I think I'm going to. Let's go. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> I guess I don't have any cards in hand, but whatever. Here you go. Deal with this. That's the greatest thing that has ever happened in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> I got another baby dragon. Okay. All right. We're, we're getting close to being able to put that in the deck. We probably fit it in it somewhere. All right. We got Exodia. We got to see Sly for the Sky Dragon do some work. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to get past Bones, but... 